guys and uh, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you some of my favorite websites that are for color combinations. I think some of them you maybe know them, uh, some of them you probably don't know them. Uh, so let's get into the video. The first one is Adobe Color CC. And I think that most of you will probably know this website, but let me quick show you uh, its capabilities. You can pick color from the color wheel. You can adjust uh, the shade you like. You can also adjust them from here. You can see the colors that are in RGBA and in hex. And also you can pick if you want uh, analogous, monochromatic, uh, complementary. And once again, you can toggle it here and find like exactly uh, what do you need. So one website is this, but one that I like more than uh, Adobe Color CC is the paleton.com. I like this color, I like sorry, this website because I think it gives you some uh, more flexibility. Like I can see here from the beginning some states that are looking good. Maybe not in this color, but uh, let's pick um, a green one. And now I can see all these colors, all, all these shades. And I can also do it like this. But I can also pick, uh, if I want three colors, I can have this one. Or four colors here. And uh, you have some more uh, capabilities like undo or redo. You have reset, randomize, and here in randomize, uh, you can have like similar colors, or you can do unlike, and then more things will uh, will be generated. So I really love paleton.com, and I think that uh, you could use it very easily. So another one uh, is material design. Here you can pick all the colors. Now uh, if you click one of these it will be copied and you can view them as RGBA, hex uh, or anything else. If you click it again it will be copied. And one cool thing with this website is that you also have uh, this menu here, this drop down menu, and you can pick like flat UI colors, fluent colors, social colors, and more. Uh, let's see the social colors. And here you have like Facebook, Messenger, uh, Pinterest, WeChat, and if you copy once again, you will have the color that you like. So also this website is very easy to use, to be used. Now, another website is the Web Gradients. So in this website you get only Web Gradient colors. If you're new to design, uh, maybe you don't know that, but now it's a trend to use uh, some beautifully gradient colors. And this is an easy way to make your own colors. Here you can see the start and the beginning of the color and you can just copy the CSS. It's very very easy. Also if you click at that button you will get the PNG. These colors also have, uh, these gradient colors also have some names like any crisp or mean fruit and you can also zoom them. There is a great um, amount of colors here. You can scroll down and see like whatever you like. Okay, and now let's continue to another favorite, which is the Color Minds. The Color Minds has this generate button that will generate uh, the colors. The cool thing about that is that you can uh, lock it or uh, adjust it. And there are some more capabilities. And you can also click, click on website colors. And let's say that we like um, this one. 
and now it will show you how will your design look like if you pick these colors and what you can do with these colors, how you can combine them and uh, like I think it's great 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 and super useful you can also have the templates and see once again how it will look like here and you can uh, upload an image and pick your own colors last but not least I'm going to show you the coolers.co um, this is also a website to generate some colors I think this one is like my favorite maybe with palette on so um, you can just click space you can have you can click space yes and you can see uh, the colors what I like here it is that it's very easy to use once again you have the adjust here but you can see the hue saturation and brightness you can pick if you want HSB RGBA or anything else you can also drag it you have some sage like a one dark one cool and you can do much more you have your settings here and once again you can pick colors from any month you have undo like you have in paleton this is the same thing but for all the colors and here it's very easy to export it or save it there is also a Chrome extension but I think that you have to pay for it but all in all I think that it is uh, a great tool so that's it is guys for today I think uh, that you love all these websites I'm going to leave the links for all the websites down in the description box and if you have any question or if you want me to show anything else please just leave a comment also if you did like this video please consider share and subscribe thank you very much and have